Oh, okay, child. I, I had didn't press the wrong button. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I've been talking my little life away. Welcome to the chat. <clears throat> so y'all know, I just got off from work because I had um, my last client was at six. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm about to get like them people from New York. Let me tell you something, baby. No way. No fucking way. Ain't no way, baby. Mm -mm. Okay. We not playing no games on Carlet. So anyway, y'all. <clears throat> we talked about this Sunday. We talked about this Monday. What today is? We talked about this Sunday. We talked about this Monday. We talked about this Tuesday. And today is Wednesday. I told y'all that girl's a damn lie. Do you hear me? And I put my comments on private or, or no talk because I wasn't arguing with nobody. The girl been lying from day one. So it says, new details emerging about the nursing student. Uh, student's July 10th disappearance. Police held a press conference today where um, they disclosed Russell's movements before she went uh, missing. All right. They said she was online having some online activity. Thank you for the red, the hearts. I just talked to you on the phone, girl. What's up, work? Um, they said that this, so basically she was pretty much Googling things like the movie Taken, right? Um, she actually Googled how to take money out the register without being detective, detected. Um, she had money in her sock. Um, they claim that she took toilet tissue from work. They, she took a robe from work because she works at a spa. She went and got the food from the restaurant and she stopped at Target and got snacks. This is all a plot, a plan, a ploy. I want us to stop trying to use the mental health as a narrative. That That is a part of it. But this girl, she calculated this. She planned this out. She Googled this stuff. She went and she was strategic in collecting items to 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 help her be comfortable during her two day abduction of herself. So yes, it's a mental health thing because this clearly a screw loose. But we're not going to give her no passes. We're going to say that this lady was doing some ugly. Now the police said that. They didn't want to disclose her reason for it because they wanted to respect her privacy. That look, that to me, that's private. Like she was going through some private things. And <clears throat> even though they're trying to say social media had a lot of misinformation, social media had a lot of good information. Because a lot of what they shared, we already heard that already. All right? A lot of what, we, what, what they shared, we started hearing that by Monday. I started hearing that by Monday, to be honest with you. So pretty much this girl and and and... They weren't willing to say definitively that she was going to jail or that she wasn't going to jail. But let me say this, y'all. I can see this chick getting into legal trouble for real, for real, for real. Like, I could see it. So let's go ahead and pull some cards around it. Carly Nicole, girl. What is going on, girl? Spirit, please give me the energy around Carly Nicole Russell as it relates to the abduction that she's going to uh that she's was a part of what's the energy around it give me the energy will she get into legal trouble Tyler nicole russell one thing i say one thing i do see in her her energy she has the five of swords and the nine of swords the nine of swords is actually in reverse so that nine of swords is really going to represent for her, for Carly, like they will find no one else. She is it, y'all. That nine of swords is shady character. That nine of swords is the person who is scheming and scamming and setting things up. She has the five of cups. She's going to try to stick closely to that story. And she's going to try to defend that story even when her story has holes in it. The five of swords is an energy around defending her actions, right? Defending what she's done. She, let me say this too. I believe her family knows she's lying because in her five of cups, this represents that the people in her life, her family, they heard the story. They're accepting the story, but they know inevitably grief is coming from this story. 
right? This is probably why the father who was online, he had a certain look. He had a certain energy. His body language spoke volumes because he was basically kind of like, you know, going along with it to get along, to go along with it. But let's ask, will they find an accomplice? Like, will they find somebody who really kidnapped this girl? Like, will, will they find anybody else? <clears throat> and in her messages here, she's got the moon card with deception in her energy. So she's lying. Um, and then she has the three of swords, which means she's going to go through some grief, guys. Um, I do feel like other people knows, knows what she did because her three of pentacles fell behind that. So that could represent collaborating with people, letting somebody know that she was okay. Like they're going to track her to the point of like somebody knew what was going on with her. She was never in any danger. Um, the moon card represents danger, but the moon card represents for her, especially with that three swords, lies, right? She put herself in a dangerous situation because let me say this, at night on the interstate, going through the woods, anything could have happened to you. Anything could have happened to you. And it's really sad because in her three of swords, that is sad because in her three of swords energy, that three of swords could represent this girl is going through something, y'all. Like there's definitely her screw is loose. There's definitely something happening here. Also, the, the moon card energy that could represent a person's delusional. That could represent a person does have some mental health challenges, right? A person can be deceptive, can make things up and can believe their own lies, to be quite honest with you. Um, I'm sure this is not the first time her family's had trouble with her as far as honesty and integrity. Because when you look at some of her messages here, that nine of swords, that moon card, that, that grief card, that represents a person who's been in some stuff before. Maybe not to this degree, but she didn't been into some things to where her father, I mean her family, I'm saying her father, where her family's had to try to cover for her. Um, just imagine you come from a nice family. You 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 you're working at the spot, you, you're driving a nice car, you you know, clearly you have money at your fingertips. What's the issue here, right? So let's go ahead and talk about mental health. I'm not a doctor. I don't diagnose. Same thing I say on YouTube all the time. I'm going to say here. Um, and if you notice, I come here first and then I transfer everything to YouTube. So I always tell people the best way to find me is just to find me right here on Instagram. Um, I'm more comfortable on Instagram as far as just speaking or what, like the way I talk is the way I talk. I don't sugarcoat it, right? On YouTube, I try to be a little bit more politically correct, but here I can be a little bit more vocal. But her moon card talks about somebody who can suffer with depression. Her moon card could represent somebody who has mental disorders. So I will put on the table that it was strategic. And I will put on the table clearly there is an issue, right? That's what her moon represents in her energy. Her five of cups is also, hey, Nadia. Um, her five of cups, hey, Miss Pooh. Hey, uh, Kina. What's this? Kina and Selena, how are you? Um... So that just represents, what's up, Josh? What's up, Stephen? Oh, what's that, Steven, Jan, Stevens, what's up? Um, <clears throat> so that just represents a person. But the moon card is just basically confirming, guys, that she does have some mental health aspects here. So, but I think her family knows. She has the hierophant to her energy. Um, I do feel like they're going to put her through some type of, like, psychological evaluation to kind of see, like, what's this girl mindset? Why is she doing this? What's the situation? How's your daughter? Um, and so with the hair fine energy, the hair fine for mental health or the hair fine, what's up girl? The hair fine, um, represents in her energy, um, somebody who is not in a good place, right? That could be overall, you know, that's why I always tell people, you know, a person could be smiling a person. I'm going to be honest with you. When they took that picture with her, with her wig off her head, she looked crazy as hell. I don't know how many people thought the same thing. But that picture of her when she was smiling without that wig on, I think that's the first picture they captured of her since she'd been missing. That girl looked a little nutty. She looked like somebody I'll see right by the grocery store over here on um on Elysian Fields. She looked nice and nutty. Oh, she going good, huh? That's good. So <clears throat> Yeah, she does, huh? She look a little nutty. That's why I'm like, baby, what? What's going on? Oh, Lord have mercy. 
So anyway, that's why you can't, you know, you can't assume somebody okay. You thought it was a different person. Yeah, she looked a little bit, a little, I'm not trying to be mean, but she looked a little bit weird, huh? Yeah, you know, like, I'm just like, what's going on? So let's go ahead and just kind of look into the messages and just see, like, why, you know? Remember, I pulled some relationship energy, sun, uh, I think that was Saturday night, but I mentioned it to y'all on, I think, Sunday or Monday. I mentioned it to my sister for sure. Give me the energy around what is the reason? Nice and nutty. Yeah, she looked real. She looked weird. She looked weird. Look different, huh? She looks different in every picture. A chameleon. But you know, hey, give me the energy around. Why did this young lady? Why did this young girl? Not girl. She's twenty five. Why did this young woman? Why did she do this? Like, what is the reason, spirit? Why did she make up this whole scheme to get herself? To say she was missing. What is the deal with Carly Russell? Please, Spirit. Carly Nicole Russell. The Fool card comes out first. The Hermit card comes out second. The Queen of Pentacles come out third. The, the Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. And the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is in reverse, which is interesting. And the, the Ten of Swords, that's almost like somebody did her something. So she was trying to create a reaction. Remember they had that man who uh, pretended that he died so that his family would show that they cared, so his family would be concerned. There's also something about she could have like done something and she was trying to run away from it. I think it has something to do with her, her relationships, but there could also be like she was running away from some action. Remember she was, they had something in that um, the story about she was trying to see if she could steal money. That could also be coming to bite her and her butt, like being involved in something shady or sinister, right? Um, because I think the boyfriend and her being upset with her boyfriend could be a part of it, but there, there's also something bigger there that could be like, say, for example, you know, a lot of times people get themselves into you know, um, money laundering or people get themselves into stealing and then they get in over their heads, right? And so now they try to run away from the situation. There's two things going on here. I see a relationship aspect. The two of cups is bad. The two of cups is bad. But I also see the, the fool card in reverse. And that talks about a person who did something so reckless. And that reckless behavior is next to the queen of pentacles energy. Right? And that queen of pentacles could be something where the person was doing something. that, And with the six of pentacles next to it. Where she could have been having her hands in the some type of situation where she was about to get caught up um so it looks like a relationship aspect is here but it also looks like she could we may be finding out more about what she really had her hands in guys just just be open to that idea like the idea that something tangible could be in play right remember they they, they put in the story about the register about how to steal the money just just know the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles could play a big part in that whole theory. Okay. Um, she has the full card for mental health. Let's go back to that. This is a person who is unbalanced. This could also be guys, you know, you would talk about drugs and I'm not sending stone. I'm not a doctor, but this could also be somebody who could, who could have taken something, right? We don't know. Carly could actually be on medication for her mental health. We just don't know, like, what this girl got going on in her personal life. That's why you can't never judge a book by its cover. That's why you can't just look at somebody and say, oh, they look normal. And if they seem fine, you know, like, you just don't know. But it's two things that's happening in her messages. Um, it's two things that's happening. I see a relationship aspect here, right? Oh, an argument. The two of cups is in reverse. So that represents like some type of problem, some argument, some tension, some confusion that's been going on in the last, you know, two months that caused her to be in it. She felt backstabbed in some way. Right. But then there's this other aspect that has to do with something financially, something tangible. Right. Um, and this is what that represents. And her full card aspect, her full card is somebody who has um, been reckless and careless, eccentric. You know, full card is about a person who could be eccentric, too, and make a stupid ass decision. So, I I know I'm talking kind of fast because I'm reading through it kind of fast. But that's, you know, when you get to the, 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 the like, when you get, like, uh, to the point where you read like I do, it's just like that. Right? 
you could put it together like a puzzle. It's a piece of puzzle. So I just I just read fast like that. I do that. I could do that. I read real fast sometimes, but I just slow it down for the clients, of course. So anyway, guys, this is where we are. Let's ask about the boyfriend right quick. <clears throat> Let's ask like what's his energy? How does he feel about it? What's going on with the boyfriend? Spirit, give me energy around Carly's boyfriend. Last week, my daughter dreamed she can came back home with a guy. Mm, yeah. Give me the energy around Carly and her boyfriend. Give me the energy around boyfriend. He's a nice looking guy. But baby, he ain't really, baby, he, he damn sure ain't that fine. Okay? He ain't that fine to be doing all this. I know you lying. Baby, that man, who? Girl, these girls, they just be stupid for the people. All right, so give me the energy around Carly's boyfriend. What does he think about all of this? What's his energy surrounding this? What is his part to play in it? And so he's sitting here defending her, right? He has the five of wands energy. He's going to try to defend this nonsense. Right? He, he doesn't like the fact that people are beating up on her. And he really believed her story. Now, he definitely shows in his energy. After a while, he deleted it, huh? After, that's why I say after a while, he's going to... That's why I was just about to say after a while, he's pulling out of it. I literally was about to say, don't say nothing until I finish talking. Because I literally was saying he's pulling out of it. <laughs> Shit. All right, the nine of swords. The nine of wands is he's pulling out, right? He's going to pull out. So at the end of the day, he was really believing in all of this, right? He was really supporting her. And it feels like slowly but surely, he's like, again, like when I say pull out, he's going to pull out of this because he's going to be pulled into something. He threatened one of the people who was coming for her first. Wow. He won't be threatening that after he get all the facts and the tea in the situation, y'all. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, hey, Chloe. So, all I got to say, guys, is this. What's up, Dr. Co Corte? What's up? All I have to say is this, guys. He definitely shows his father wants, I'm defending her, right? I'm going to defend her. Um, I definitely feel like he was believing her. I definitely feel like in the last day or so, he's been like, on the you know contemplating it he so he's off this he so he's off this laugh out loud no so he's not a part of this scheme guys he wasn't he's not the he's not a part of setting this up she did this all by herself right this is what it feels like and let me say this you did this with this for if, for this guy to some degree he got a woman that's sitting right here that's gonna be fine sexy and gorgeous that he's gonna end up running off with so you did all of this on the strength of your relationship with him. And then what he's got is his lady. That's, he, that's coming through his messages. That he's going to be with. And have a child with. Isn't that crazy? So you did all that for what? Nothing. But it's more than just him. There's something about. And, and, and let me say this. It's almost like a spiral effect. If you ever watched a movie where a person's. Their personal life is going crazy. Their work life is going crazy. Their financial life is going crazy. They're, it's like watching a movie where you see somebody spiraling. That's what it feels like to me, right? Because she has a lot of spiral aspects there, you know? So, um, I definitely feel she's got legal trouble coming her way. Give me the energy again around Carly Nichols. I mean, I want to say Nichols. Carly Russell. Give me the energy around Spirit. Uh, first and foremost, was there ever a child? Give me the confirm the energy around a child on the interstate. Tower card and the King of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse. That is a lie. Tower card, of course, represents that story is not true. That child was never in that foundation. The King Knight of Cups is somebody who's lying. All right, give me the energy around was there a man with. She said, I think, orange hair with a bald spot. Did they have a man present that took her and put her over the fence? Was there a man? Was there a woman? Was there another person present during this situation in her messages? 
I see her on social media. I see her looking for information. I see her plotting and planning this. She's got the hangman self-sabotage. And she's got the knight of sword taking action. And she's with the page of cups in her energy. This feels like she was planning this. Like if they look at her, if they look at her records, they can probably see over a period of time where she was literally planning this out. Her six of wands is social media. Her 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 hermit card is trying to get some information. Hangman self sabotage. She has the Knight of Swords taking action, and then she has the Page of Cups, and this is her following through on the plan. I don't see where she was kidnapped. Her Two of Cups, she wasn't in harm's way. Her Six of Wands, she wasn't in harm's way. Her hermit card is positive that wasn't harm. Her Knight of Swords is positive that wasn't harm. And then her her hangman is sabotage, self sabotage, and her page of cups is positive. She was she was not in the presence of anyone. She was not in the presence of a presence of anyone that harmed her. There is another female here, and I'm wondering if that female could be like somebody that she connected with, uh, like to communicate to help her in some to some, at some point communicate. So. Remember I said, I think it was either Sunday or Monday, there may be a woman that may turn on her, a woman that may talk, or a woman that may come out or say something. There's something about somebody sharing some information and it's back again here. And so, like, it just tells you don't be surprised if somebody shares some information, okay? That's what it talks about. Give me the energy around mom spirit. Her cousin was helping her. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. They need to do interview with the boyfriend because I don't see how he got around for two days. I don't believe she stayed in the woods for two days. Give me the energy. Somebody picked her from by. Somebody had to pick her from the interstate. Give me the energy around. She looks like there's a woman involved, y'all. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's almost like there's almost like a situation where somebody else was being communicated with. Like she was with that person, right? Um, in her messages. That's what it talks about. She was inside of some location, some home, some place, some hotel. She was there's a ten of cups aspect here. And that could represent she was somewhere for a short period of time. Um, the area does show up like woody, grassy trees energy. So wherever she was, but it definitely shows in her energy that um, there's a woman that keeps showing up on her channel. I don't know. So just be on the lookout for maybe a female friend or relative who kind of like, you know, eventually she reached out to them. All right. Yeah. Somebody had to be helping her. Yeah. Heck, the way this is a full job, I wouldn't be surprised if she got an Uber. <laughs> Uber, you have to use your credit card or your debit cards, girls. You know, she threw away everything that could track her. Remember, she only had cash. You know, um, she only had cash. Remember, she took and she took everything that could track her to bring her to a location. She she took she left all that behind, girl. This girl didn't really have no real plan. Cause let me say this. How much did she have in her sock? A hundred and like what less than $120 where were you going with $120 my baby who's 14 and more money than that in her bank account you know what are you talking about like you where were you going with $120 number one clearly you didn't have no plans to stay a long time you only had the food you got from the restaurant and the snacks from Target so you knew that wasn't gonna last you too long eventually you knew you had to come back home I think she have a runaway. She's, she's clearly she's childish and immature, and she was thinking about running away from home. But she really didn't think this plan through. A lot of a lot of times, people don't realize, like when you're in a real situation, your movements and your actions are going to be different. This is how a police could tell between an, a wound that's inflicted, that's self inflicted, versus a wound that somebody inflicted upon you, based on the position and the distance, right? Um, even the thing that was on her lips, you know, the punch that the, she, they say she had a, a, you know, a lip look busted or whatever. All that stuff could be determined by looking at the position of all of that. You know, I think she'll definitely, I do let me say people, usually people like that, they don't usually give statements. They usually let the lawyers speak for them. They let other people speak for them. They hide, right? They, 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 
they're cowards. A lot, <clears throat> a lot of times people like that, they don't talk. This is why she's hiding behind her mom and her dad and letting them talk. And she and, and they on the internet talking about, oh, Carly's so upset about everything that's being said. Why are you even on the internet looking on TikTok, looking on Instagram, looking on YouTube to see what anybody's saying? Aren't you supposed to be under duress? Shouldn't you be taking your melatonin and going to sleep? Maybe, you know, maybe a, 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 maybe a pill or two. I mean, why are you on social media looking at what the hell we talking about? You know, but most people who do stuff like that, they don't talk because they want to keep quiet. They'll let the lawyers talk for them. They'll let their parents talk to them for them. They'll let their husband and their wives speak for them. Everybody has spoken except for Carly, right? What's the energy around the mom and the dad? We just kind of talked about that. I would feel like they knew about it, right? Give me the energy around Carly's mom and then spirit confirm. Let me see what this is, child. Let me know when you're done. I got you. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me make a reply. Reply. Good. Hold on. Let me respond to this text message. Oh, spirit, give me the energy around her mom. Did she truly believe her? Why did her mom get on TV just yesterday to pretend that, I don't know if she pretended, but why did she get on yesterday and say it was an abductor? They truly believed that an abductor was there. Why was Carly's mom doing that? Give me the energy. The hangman, right? If I tell on my daughter, what's the next step? The hangman is, I am basically sacrificing my daughter, right? The hangman in a positive, in an upright position is a person who's sacrificing their daughter, who's surrendering their daughter, right? They're now giving up on what their daughter said. She's trying to believe what she said, right? That's what that talks about. So that's like saying, basically, I would be turning my own daughter in. But this is why I feel like the daughter has had other issues before and they just covered up. Spirit, give me the energy around the mother again. She is the hangman, the knight of wands, the devil card. That's like you blinded by your children. You know, that's kind of like blue face mama, right? He literally said he was going to punch Krishan Rock in the stomach. But she took to her social media to basically try to find some videos from 10 years ago to try to disparage Krishan. We already talked about, we did a full reading on her mental health. Uh, Michelle, you don't have to probably start back at the beginning. We did a full reading on her mental health. What's going on? Does she have mental health? We pulled all the cards around that. But her mom has the devil card for her. So that represents she's going she's gonna to believe what she says with a passion, right? Does she ever have any doubt? Does she tell her husband, I doubt this story. There's a concern with this story. And the ace of pentacles. She does show in her messages, even though she believes her. That Ace of Pentacles is like, will the police believe her? Yeah, just start back at the beginning, Michelle, because I did all of that in the very beginning. I know I'm moving kind of fast, but welcome to the chat. So the Ace of Pentacles is holes in the story. So I do feel like even though she feels like I believe my daughter and she's showing her daughter, I believe you. She wants her daughter to feel comfortable knowing that she believes her and her Ace of Pentacles energy, especially in reverse. That could represent her mom saying, you know what? Um, we might run into a little bit of trouble with this story, right? That's what that could represent. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse could represent uh, this is going to turn out bad, y'all, right? That's what that Ace of Pentacles in reverse could represent. This is going to turn out bad. It's too many holes in There's some holes in the story. That's what it talks about. So the mom, even though she's like, I, I have faith in her. I do believe, I, you know, you know how parents, I'm trying to believe. I do believe but she does have the ace of pentacles, which means, and I think that's why they were trying to, let's, let's give a minute. Let's just, let's just give us a minute to love on our daughter. Ma'am, there's an abductor out there. If the daughter says there is an abductor with a woman. There is a baby that was on an interstate. You need time to love on your daughter. Your daughter needs to be sharing a description of the man, a description of the location, a description of the house. But she tries to say she was blindfolded the whole time. Did y'all hear that part where she said the woman was giving her cheeses and playing in her hair? Huh? I mean, girl, I cannot make this up. So the white lady captured you. 
got you butt booty naked, took pictures of you. You can't remember whether you were sexually assaulted or had sex or anything. They fed you Cheez-Its, played in your hair, didn't take your coins, and then what? I mean, what is we talking about here? Like, girl, what are you talking about? So some white woman decided to play in your hair. Your hair looking like Kizzy from the color, is it, what's that girl name? You're looking like Celia from the color purple. She decided to play in your hair. And, and your hair looking like Celia from the color purple. She was feeding you Cheez-Its. Huh? You had a you had some coins in your sock, but they didn't get them coins. I mean, girl, I cannot blindfolded her, but didn't tie her up. <laughs> so you could have pulled the blindfold down at any time. <laughs> Girl, if you don't get out of here with that nonsense, just think of how all that shit sound when you put it together. Just imagine you were like in a situation. You ain't never just pulled that damn blindfold down just a second just to see the locate the room. If they had a bed, if it, if they had a door, if the door had a lock, if the door is open, if the man was white, if the man was black, if the lady was a, if the child. You ain't seen none of that. You wasn't even tired, girl. You know, I took self-defense i took a ride you're gonna sit there i'm gonna sit there and i'm gonna be just blindfolded and not be trying to fight these i'm gonna fight my baby i'll fight these hoes to the end we're gonna fight we're gonna scrap we're gonna tussle we're gonna do whatever needs to be do okay she might play the same that's honestly nicole that's her best bet her best bet is going there and be loony how you know it was a lady playing with your hair and feeding you? <laughs> she claimed the lady voice. She heard the lady's voice and the lady was playing with her hair and feeding her cheeses, girl. <sighs> it was abducted. If I was abducted, they let me go. I would be ran out screaming to the first house of, of business. Then she got loose some kind of way. She got loose. Now, remember, she had a blindfold on and all of a sudden she got loose and she got recaptured. So she really thinks she in the movie Taken, right? She really thinks she in the movie Taken. You claim you never saw the lady. Girl, bye. <sighs> so anyway, y'all. Um, we over here on Blue Nola Lane. We've been saying this shit has been a damn lie. <laughs> there are people mad with me and everything. I say I don't care. I told them yesterday, if you mad at me, take it up with the Lord. I didn't make her do it. I didn't make her go search up how to get kidnapped. I didn't make her search up Amber Alert. I didn't make her search up how to steal money out the register. I didn't make her search up how to get a bus ticket. I didn't make her do none of that. If y'all have a problem with anything that's being said today, it's due to her negligence. This is not no little bitty young girl. This is not a 16 year old. This is a 25 years old. She's 25. She's not a baby. Some of y'all in the chat 25. Some of y'all in the chat 21. Some people that follow my channel 19 years old. And have the good sense that God gave them not to be doing this. And they won't come telling me. What that girl told me on one of the videos. Oh, that is wrong of you. She was mad that her register money wasn't enough for the bus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you could tell her parents was lying the body language. Yeah, you could tell. You can tell they were uncomfortable. If you were uncomfortable, then you shouldn't have done the interview, right? Because you couldn't really explain anything. And your body language, except especially the husband, his body language spoke volumes, right? Let me see what you're saying. Let me see what Michelle is saying. She should have just ran away if she wanted to leave. Yeah, just go run away. You would have been do better just to run away instead of creating that. But no, she wanted people to worry about her. She wanted people to be loving on her and be concerned about her. And she wanted to some degree attention, right? Why would you come back home? Why would you come back home? Just stay gone. 
but she she didn't really have no real plan to leave because what are you what were you gonna do if you leave if you leave to go on a trip anywhere you need at least three four thousand dollars you can't go to nobody other state and be comfortable right unless you're living with a relative for some reason or visiting a relative and even if you visit a relative you need at least twelve hundred dollars to be to feel comfortable because people like to, to travel people like to go eat stop that stop the restaurant go to the mall people be doing stuff and you need to have your own money so what was a hundred and some dollars so that just tells me right there she didn't have no plan to go that far you know and why are you 25 years old with 120 dollars okay let me see let me see somebody say let me see somebody got mad with me um let me see let me see. I'm trying to see. Somebody got mad. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong video. Hold on. No, I'm on the right video. Why are you writing about these people on the video? And now her folks mad because Hoover won't give her car back until the investigation. That's on them. That's on them. And not only that, you know, like, instead of them allowing the police to do their job, they're going to try to hold the girl from doing interviews. That's not going to stop nothing. That's why Hoover police went through the FBI to get her phone records. They didn't even subpoena her phone records. They literally got her phone records. So, oh, you don't have to let us talk to her, but we will get her phone records. So they got, they, whatever they did, they were able to get her phone records from her, her phone and they were able to get her, her, her computer records from her job. So at the end of the day, they went around them. Because then that tells me your family, even though they say they're cooperating, are they really cooperating? Because why should they have to go through all of that to get your phone records? That should have been like, oh, no problem. Here's my phone. Here, you know, take a look at my phone. But the people had to go around and get the phone records to make sure that nothing was removed, that they could see everything. She was going to go to the Beyonce concert in Nashville, but it wasn't enough cash in the first to <laughs> Girl, back. <laughs> anyway, she never getting that card back. Laugh out loud. It's state evidence now. Mm, she might be able to get it back. Huh? I don't know. I don't know the law. I don't know the law. I don't know nothing about the law, channel. I don't know what it. I don't know what what. I don't know what they do. How they do it. I don't even give a damn about her car. That's that's what you get for going up there making a big fabricated story. And was the man white? Because to me, she's trying to lose some white people, y'all. And, you know, once that come out of her mouth, the white people going to really try to get her. Because that's just like when Justice Smollett, just say Smollett did that whole situation. He tried to say some white people did that to him. So at the end of the day, y'all, it is what it is. I'm just glad that it's all being figured out. I'm glad that <clears throat> I'm glad that it's all being figured out. I'm glad that, you know... Um, this is all being resolved that we're all finding out the truth because I really felt like, you know, it made us feel divided. I hope she stays off social media. I would change my name. Girl, she got on social media, going to clown her, to clown her for life. She thinks she got mental. You think she's going to be running away. She's going to be running away for real. They're already on her Twitter pulling her tweets. They're already pulling her tweets. She on there talking about she gone girl. It's her favorite move. Uh, taken is her favorite moving. So they're already pulling out all her old tweets. Girl, just stay off the internet. You ruined this girl literally has ruined her life. I'm gonna be honest with you. Who who's gonna trust this girl? Right? Y'all think what y'all think about the Tyler running six football fields in two minutes? <laughs> That's what me and my daughter were just talking about. I said, so what baby running two football fields? Chill. That's what I'm saying. She didn't think her story through. First of all, you got on it. You, you went and got your regular food. Then you went and got your snacks. No, first of all, you took a towel. You took some toiletries from your job, right? You snuck that out. Number red flag. Number one, you went and stopped and got the food. Then you wouldn't stop at target and got the snacks. Then you proceeded to go to the internet and pretend that you saw a baby on the interstate. Then you proceeded to drive six 
drive a football field, uh, drive, wait, six football fields in two minutes claiming you saw a baby. Then you proceeded to get out your car from the driver's side, walk to the passenger side, walk back to the truck, walk back to the driver's side, face forward to the forest, walk in the forest, and all of a sudden we see a flashlight. Come to find out you over here left everything, the wig, the keys, the everything in the car, but you took the snacks and the food. Not a crumb left, not even for a mouse. Okay? You did not plan this out at all. You didn't plan this out at all well. Right? Number one, ain't no black woman leaving her wig nowhere. Okay? Now, it might fall out while you're in the scuffle with the, the, the intruder or the abductor. But it, a, a black woman, I have a wig on her head, baby. On, 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 an, on the picture at the end of the movie. You know damn well. Lady, if she ain't got nothing else on her head, she gonna have that damn wig on her head towards the very end. <laughs> so you made that that whole thing right there was cap. You just ran off with the wig, chill. Don't even make no damn sense. Especially somebody who is a, an abductor. They're grifters. They'll take an Apple Watch in a minute. They'll take a Apple phone in a minute. They'll take a, a purse in a minute. They'll take $120 in a minute, right? They'll take your booty in a minute. So I'm just saying that none of these things even, none of these things even happen to you, okay? None of these things happen. They didn't take your money. They didn't take your booty. They didn't take your wig. They didn't take your watch. They didn't take your purse. They didn't take your phone. So the, they did all their burglar. They did all this to you just to take some pictures of your naked body. You ain't even that fine. <sighs> I cannot, girl. Bye. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know that's like somebody breaking into somebody's house, and they have. All of these, you know, somebody's house is staged to be a break-in. But all the expensive stuff is still there. The person had $3,000 in a wallet that's never been touched. The Cartier watch is on the table. Is that really a break-in? Somebody got killed in their house and they staged it to be a break-in. But everything that was expensive that could be taken of value is still sitting there. Okay, that's not really a break in. Somebody staged it. These people who are grifters, allegedly, who are abductors, allegedly, who wouldn't love to have an Apple Watch? All you got to do is clear the information off an of Apple Watch. Who wouldn't love to have an iPhone? All you got to do is clear the information off an iPhone. Right? People, people who do that lifestyle, they know how to do stuff like that. They know people, how, they know people who know how to do stuff like that. Right? You had $120. It's not a lot of money, but it shows some money where they could have, you know, put a little gas in the trunk, in the, in the tank. Got maybe a little piece on your expense. They ain't take none of that. Girl, make that make sense. Mm, mm, mm. She really made what you said. And she ain't no 150. <laughs> she really made it hard for real victims. Yeah. I bet people that was on her interstate that drove by probably remember seeing that car. Let me tell you something. I'll be back and forth between New Orleans and Baton Rouge visiting my dad, right? I don't be looking at nobody on no interstate. Girl, if anything, I'll be speeding up. Don't look for me. Don't ask me for nothing. And I'm not stopping. I'm sorry. They got too many people setting you up. The interstate is a perfect place for trafficking. So, a lot of people probably didn't pay pay attention to her on the interstate. Because I know when I'm on the interstate, when I see somebody on the side of the road slowing down all that stuff, baby, I put my foot on the accelerator. I accelerate. Don't even look for me to do that. Don't look for me to help with shit. So don't assume people just, you know, looking on looking on the interstate like that. I mean, I know personally for me, I ain't looking for nothing. As soon as I see somebody slowing down, I press the, my, my foot get on the accelerator. I ain't in it. My name is Bennett. You know, if I have a problem on the interstate, that's what I got AAA for. You know, this is what I got, you know, 
uh, this is what this is what I got triple A for. If I really get a pickle and call my people, that's what I got it for. I could see my mom now. What you say? My family would have left my ass out to dry if I did it. Me too. My mom would have been like, uh, she did it. <laughs> my mom would have been like, you need to tell the truth. Mm -mm. My family would have definitely said my daughter suffers from mental illness. Yeah. Period. So my mom wouldn't have let me pull that. My mom would have never let me pull that stuff. My mom wouldn't have never let me make the family look crazy like that. My mom would have never let it go on for days and days and days and days like this. You know, like, y'all let this go on absolutely too long without telling the truth. Y'all just, y'all, y'all were doing too much. Sorry, y'all were doing too much. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come back through. My folks my folks would have beat my grown ass <laughs> and had me apologize, live apologizing immediately. Girl, I would have gone, oh, I'm sorry, everybody. You know, the problem, too, is that she said she saw a child. So that's what really kind of threw the alarm up, right? Okay, I'm on an interstate and there's a small child on the interstate. That's where the red flag really went off, right? Now, who, what is going on by the interstate? Why is a child by the interstate? This poor lady is trying to help this child and now she's gone. So it just made the situation worse and worse. You know, just got worse. Because it's like you say, now you first you're saying a child is on the interstate. Now you're saying a babe uh, uh, that you, that somebody took you. It just made, it just took the situation and elevated it times 10. Her saying that baby was involved, that's what really pushed her into the into the spotlight that baby saying the baby was out there right she would have done better saying oh i just somebody's here but I, my car stopped i lost my car slowed down I, I ran out of gas she'd have done better just running out of gas on the interstate and acting and, and then got missing she should have disappeared herself not involved made up a child yeah because it just made it worse why not just run out of gas, get off the interstate, and act like you got kidnapped? But you didn't do that. And now these interstates are so sophisticated that they have cameras. Look at that camera was right there. They, I mean, the interstates have gotten so sophisticated. Even in New Orleans, they have all these traffic cam lights now. And those traffic cam lights can even hear what you're saying, y'all. So cities have gotten so sophisticated that even on a busy ass interstate, they could see what you're doing. You, your plan, girl, your plan was not cohesive. You're looking up how to get kidnapped. You're looking up how to steal the money. You're looking up how to about an ambler. You're looking up all kind of ways to be abducted. Period. So I'm out of here. Um, I'll probably transport this over to YouTube sometime today. I'm trying to give space in between all other video. But thank y'all for riding with me. Thank y'all for being on this channel. Thank y'all for being on this page. You know, I know it's hard to, you know, a lot of people, you know, want to, like I saw somebody on YouTube saying that, um, you know, she got into it with people because they felt like she was, you know, she was beating down a black woman. What did that person say? I wrote back to them. They said that um, that they had gotten into it. Let me see what that person had wrote me. Um, okay. So this is what they said. So they said, I knew she was lying. I got into real arguments with my friends. So bad at one point where I can't even be friends with two of them anymore. It was just too much disrespect because I had a, a different opinion. They said, Carly, Car Charlie, better go to jail. Carly, better go to jail. But first, she needs to get mentally evaluated. She's got to be crazy. So I always told that. So I told her this. I say, always follow your heart. Good for you for standing up for something that doesn't sound right or feel right. She said, thank you. Yeah, it was uh, many lines crossed, like really beefing about this. We don't know her. I'm always going to remember everything they said. Ain't no going back. Ooh, so she said, baby, she was getting into it with some people behind this. At the end of the day, I just feel like maybe they can make amends. Hopefully, y'all can make amends if you hear this. But let me say this, you know, stand on you. Stand on what you believe. Don't let nobody tell y'all nothing. This is how we got through the Tory Lanez readings. 
this is how we got through the Wendy Williams reading. This is how we got through this. I didn't read on it totally, but I definitely was following my intuition on it, right? I was following my feelings on it. I was following what I felt, what I, what I energetically. So I tell people, follow your heart. Don't follow with just a group of people saying, because it sounds good, it look good. Oh, she black, she a woman, protect all black women. Not when she damn lying. Like, I'm all for women. Y'all already know that. I'll rise up in a minute for women. Y'all already know I'll be on a man ass in a minute behind a woman. I'll be on a man ass so hard you think he was my man, get his ass beat. But at the same time, we got to be able to say, when we see something wrong, right? We can't just overlook that. But y'all have a good night. Take care. Stay blessed. Yep, definitely, folks are definitely split. Let me read yours first, Jazz. Some folks really have to have discernment. Yep. Yeah, folks really have uh, were definitely split. I believe she was taken at first. I really questioned it when she came back from the store. I ain't never believed in Michelle. Um, and uh, can always sense be at some other way, period. Hey, what's up, Zaza? La la. What's up? I like that thing. What's up? Okay, a kick girl, get it down, make it happen, do it right, spin around, do it right, la la, okay, all right, zaza, la la la, bye bye. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Take care, stay blessed, stay empowered, and I'm out of here. I'm gonna transport this over to YouTube later on. Um, give some space between the other videos, and I'll do an official reading on it. But this is at least giving some clarity, you know, without the cards. Okay. Bye, y'all. Take care. Peace and blessings.